What it do, YouTube? It's Coffee. Back at it with another one, man. We got a whole lot going on, so we're just going to get right to it. Y'all get right to them comments and let me know your guys' thoughts on all the news, man. But kicking it off with some comedy, right? I don't know why this just cracked me to fluck up, man. It really got me for a second. You know, I'm just doing me, doing my one-two, scrolling through the timeline and all that. And all of a sudden, I see breaking news. Rick Ross, 45 dead. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> After Rose attempted to crowd surf, I'm like, oh, man, they trolling and roasting Rick Ross at the same time damn time and it got me i don't know why it's just a simple joke it was funny as fuck though i don't know i just had to share that with y'all and um yo slick with the caption game as well uh the account is chicago plug tv and they were like yo uh follow us if if we got you so i had to follow them y'all because they really got me i don't know why i fell for it man now check it out y'all it's none other than the king of all the internet fluckery himself, Mr. Wack 100's birthday. You see he's getting all kinds of B-Day wishes from his family, family, former artists, current artists, etc. You know, they're like, yo, happy B-Day, Wack. And you see he's out on the boat. I don't know if that's a yacht. Maybe it's just a boat. I forget what movie was that. Oh, uh, the Starsky and Hutch jump off with Owen Wilson and, um, Ben Stiller remember dude uh Vince Vaughn was always like it's not a boat it's a yacht comment and let me know if you think Wack would be one of them cats that'd be like yo it's a yacht it ain't a boat I don't know you know is he is he uh is he bougie and fancy like that who knows but he's uh you know celebrating his birthday on the boat you see he's talking about his Aries season another year in the books I'm still alive and all that and of course, you know, on his birthday vibes, he's on some major beef. We'll get to that in a second. Some major blogosphere beef. Let me reiterate. It's internet-ish, right? We'll get to that in a second. I'm sure y'all already know what that's about if you've been following the blogs. This has just been going on for damn near a week, and whack is relentless. But uh, before we get to that, um, he, he's posting about a project he's got on the way, and I hope this is really coming soon. Let me know if you guys think... This is an interesting story you, you want to know more about. You know, when uh, Glasses Malone made a video about it, you guys remember that Tupac Must Die joint? It, it, it was really controversial, you know, but it went wild viral. And I don't know, you know, we're talking about none other than Orlando Anderson, uh, you know, who is known as the man that killed Tupac. A lot of people are like, yo, he's still alive. Obviously, you know, a, a lot of people say, yo, the feds did it. There's all kinds of theories and everything out there but personally i believe orlando anderson killed tupac let me know if you believe that as well or, or what you think but whack been talking about this for a while that he obtained the rights i don't know if he like it was through keefe d or who you know but he's been saying he's got the rights to orlando anderson's story and he, yo there was some issue in the past too. you guys remember because you know wax always on his business tip that uh, obviously, we know 50 Cent's doing the BMF thing, but at one point, there was some controversy that Wack was saying he had the rights to the BMF-ish uh, through Blue Da Vinci. If y'all ever noticed, they got a rapport in the blogosphere, but I don't think Wack ended up doing anything with that, you know, because it's like when it comes to BMF, no one really wants to hear the Blue Da Vinci story. They want to hear, you know, about Meech and, and everyone, you know? But you see, he says, uh, he's got the picture of Orlando Anderson, and he says, uh, Orlando, the series, or is it the story? Hold on, let me check. Orlando, the series coming to a network near you. If you know, then you know. 100 Enterprises, West Up. Wack been doing that West Up caption, that, that hashtag for the longest time, Billy Joel voice. But for real, let me know, are you interested in hearing more about this story? He says coming soon, so it leads me to believe it's already in the works who knows though right whack was talking about that one company he's i guess it's kicked off now an official a damn diaper company like i i don't know it's just uh shocking like not shocking but who would think like yo I, I got a big business deal going down it's a diaper company not like get your money or whatever i don't know it's just Wack was talking about that ish for like three years, but now apparently he's doing business overseas. Floyd Mayweather's in the mix. I don't know. You know what I mean? But um, 
is that what it's going to be like for this Orlando thing or is it really coming soon we'll have to wait and see and let me know if you're interested more in hearing about Orlando Anderson's story and if you think he indeed did kill Pac get in the comments with it all let's talk but now we got to get to the beef ish right how could Wack ever really celebrate his birthday without trolling the fuck out of somebody Damn. Yeah, he was 16. He didn't, he was 16. Go, he didn't want to go to the island, my nigga. He was 16 years old. He didn't want to touch that rock because shit was going down. It was, he said, Adolescent was at war at that time. He didn't want to walk into that threshold, so he was trying to make any kind of deal he could make at the prison to try to get on, though. I'm sick, though. Yeah, he was 16. These niggas old. He knew he was a shit. 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 He knew he so y'all heard that wax in there chopping it up with none other than snow billy yo where's snow billy been at man this dude's wild man i heard him and uh mano arguing another time there's a there's a viral clip floating out around out there in the blogosphere of mano arguing with um with uh snow billy mano was in a room and snow billy or i'm sorry Snow Billy was in the room and Mano popped up in there as they were talking about Mano and whatever the case may be. Yo, did Snow Billy's book ever come out? Or wasn't he supposed to make a movie or something too? I don't know. I don't know. You know, the, like then last year, I think uh, reportedly someone allegedly tried to blow up his car. Some people were saying, yo, that was Cap. They were like, yo, like he, he spit like because he was showing off pictures of his arm being burnt up and some people was like yo coffee don't believe the hype that man spilled coffee on his arm i don't know man but snow billy back active out here in the blogosphere and he's talking about mano was snitching back when he's a teenager scared to go to rikers island like this story is just this is all we're seeing about is mano and whack 100 mano and whack 100 and whack is just loving trolling the fluck out of mano um, their beef actually stems back to some years back, man, back when Game did the pest control video. And I don't know, man, it's a whole another situation. But I mean, it makes sense that like, you know, we know Wack loves to be involved in all the controversy and fluckery. But it like makes sense that that's more ammunition, why he's so relentless with this ish, man. But uh, real talk, the, the whole like Wack do got a point in this, like that whole situation with the chain. You know, everyone done dug up them posts like, yo, you, you was repping that you and Troy have were good money and y'all flucked with each other. And then you got his chain like it just really doesn't make sense, man. But I don't know. Wack ain't letting Mano forget about it at all. What do y'all think? And then last up on the rundown, guys, some of my favorite artists currently in the rap game. Griselda, you know what I mean? Conway the Machine. It's wild, too, when they first came out. Conway was my favorite of the Griselda crew, but then Benny, you know, like then I, I, I leaned to more towards Benny's music, but it's still Conway's fire, you know, but, but for those that fluck with Griselda, who is your favorite artist, you know what I'm saying? But um, Conway just dropped a new track. He's got a new album coming. This is what's so crazy about Griselda. We know they drop high volume, you know what I'm saying? They're always dropping mixtapes and EPs and albums and all that right but this is actually only his second official studio album that's coming and it's called he won't do it it's the follow-up to the shady records debut well the only one project he dropped on shady that was a whole wild story all in itself they had a three album deal and it took him a million years to get it out you know and times it seems like there was some tensions there was some you know situations where griselda you know west side gun and conway and, uh, you know, the shady individuals weren't necessarily seeing eye to eye, but in the end, they're good money, you know. Um, but it was just crazy how long it took for that project to drop, you know, for Conway to fulfill his obligations. Like, the, you know, Bang came out with Eminem like 18 months before the album actually came out. It was insane, man. But um, this new joint he got out goes hard and it's called quarters slash brucifix i don't know if them are two different tracks this track though that i got the video playing fire comment if y'all heard it if y'all fluck with it and it's interesting too because we also see west side gun via social network saying a piece r.i.p to scott hall 
but you see he also is rocking um you know some kevin nash on his on his clothing as well and you know collectively as as a duo hall and nash that's west side gun and conway when they drop projects together so i wonder like is he telling us we're gonna get another hall and nash project i i, I that definitely be lit you know because wasn't west side gun supposed to retire as a solo artist i don't know man I, I fluck with these dudes they're so dope for those that fluck with me you know for the longest time billy joe voice as well know i'm a big wrestling fan wrestling nerd as well so i've always just appreciated their different style their flow like I, everyone god's love for griselda i feel like like oh they've really been getting their flowers over the past few years like you you know what I'm saying? Cats be like, yo, Griselda, the dopest in New York State. And they're in the 716, which is another dope thing they did. They put Buffalo on the map in the hip hop world. I mean, obviously, music. Rick James was already from Buff. You got the Google Dolls. There's some Brian McKnight. You know what I mean? But hip hop wise, rappers, they were the first to do it. And they rep it proudly. They do their thing with the merch, with the art with the wrestling is they're just so dope on so many levels personally but i don't know uh let me know if you heard this new track your thoughts and um you know for the griselda fans do you think that the you know him once again peace r.i.p to sky hall repping for the outsiders a uh, west side gun right at the same time as conway premiering this new joint with west side gun is west side gun trying to tell us there's going to be another hall and nash jump off on the way you know what I'm saying? It could be. But that's all I got, y'all. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join the discussion in the comments. That's what it's all about here. Hearing from y'all, the people. Daily videos, talking music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. I'm up out of here, y'all. Peace. records um